The Butterfly Park Open Day this year was a huge success, more successful than last year if possible. We had um, up to 500 visitors that we counted and made nearly £500 um, in donations which was amazing um, as we haven't been able to fundraise properly yet. Um, we had Alison McGovern come on the day and um, did a grand opening for us of the Caravan Visitor Centre and she opened our new allotment. Last year we were talking about the possibility of making a visitor centre out of a caravan for New Ferry Butterfly Park and today is the open day and we've achieved everything we hope to achieve, I think. Um, we've spent many long months with a lot of people, a lot of help, a lot of volunteers come in. Um, we've had a donation of a caravan, we've rebuilt it from scratch and made it into what is a visitor centre in essence. Uh, in that people can use it as an educational tool and sit um, with books, like there's a library in there, um, have a read, do some workshops, current in. Uh, but also it's an art gallery in a way, this is me presenting my art via the visitor centre. So it's the, art, the books that we have in there are made into art, we've made artist books and made sculptures from the books. We've also got photographs, it's another form of art and we've got some different things in there that you wouldn't expect to find in a normal visitor centre. So there's a play on a visitor centre, but it's a very viable visitor centre. Um, the process of making it was long and arduous, but we've got here and now we hope that we're going to tour it around the country, well definitely around Merseyside and anyone who would like to have the Caravan Visitor Centre visiting them is fine and we'll take it as far afield as we can. Uh, and it's basically to teach people about the Butterfly Park so we can go to you, bring the Butterfly Park to you and let you know what we're all about in the hope that then it'll bring people in and we'll gather more visitors. So that's the basic essence of the Visitor Centre is it's going to be a touring Visitor Centre. It's weird for me being here because we've had this whole conversation about what we plan to do and now a year on I watched the video last week of me talking about the plans and it's great that it's all come to fruition but it seems so strange that in that short space of time so many people have come on board and so many people have donated items and artwork and the trails got larger and it's become really great and there's more people this year attended the open day and it's fantastic that it's out there but the visitor centre is going to be here but the mobile allotment was planted up by um, children of Grove Street School we took it down to the school and the eco council actually helped plant it up and their children actually made butterflies for the lepidoptera drawers um, within the visitor centre so it's, it's great that the local community have become so involved in the whole process the allotment was um, fantastically helped along by Grove Street School and we took it to the school um, and 12 of their children helped us plant it so each child has actually put their own name next to the plant that they've planted and we're hoping to then harvest some of the food soon and take it back to the school for a kind of picnic so that's a really great thing. This particular piece over here is called Daylight Only and, and it's by an artist called Roy Lewis. I say artist because out of all the art trail pieces that we've got, Roy is the only person who doesn't consider himself an artist. Roy is a motorbike uh, mechanic and he built this sundial out of uh, old motorbike parts and it sort of relates to the industry of the site. There's a lot of industrial metal been left on site from the railway um, and he's responded to that and built it out of his own industry. And it's a beautiful piece and we've always wanted a sundial to tell the time on site. And the stone circle was originally where the water tower was on the railway, the site of the old railway. So I think it's really fitting that this piece is here.
This piece here is called Propagate by an artist called Terry Hayes, a local artist who came down to the Butterfly Park and wanted to use things from site. So it's an old railway sleeper from the site and he found, he went trying to find some rubbish. Um, there wasn't much on site because we're very good. But he found an old tin can which he squashed down and he's actually planted a shoot from one of the plants on site um, and he's hoped it would grow and propagate. That's the night, obviously the title. So then he encased it in resin and put it into the railway sleeper uh, with a quote underneath. But it's all about preserving part of the butterfly park forever, which is really fantastic considering the problems we had and didn't know whether we were going to be kept on site. The quote that he's written on the bottom is actually a piece from um, somebody called Lauren Isley and he says it best sums up his piece and it says nature as I have tried to intimate is never quite where we see it it is a becoming as well as a passing but the becoming is both within and without our power